resilient, beautiful souls who want to be a part of creating the new earth? Here is the answer. Welcome to Soul Search. Soul Search is the high frequency global online destination for spirituality and consciousness. This is a multi dimensional community for spiritual seekers, healers, teachers, and guides for the global awakening. With Soul Search, the spiritual seeker can easily search for and connect with healing modalities, spiritual teachings, practices, and practitioners. Within the Soul Search community, you can join groups or take courses for your spiritual journey. With Soul Search, you are part of an inclusive, growing global community for consciousness. For spiritually conscious practitioners, Soul Search connects you to a global audience seeking your services. Post client reviews, articles, videos, photos, and audio. You can create secure and private online communities for your groups and clients. Be a part of an awakening community for spirituality where you can collaborate and connect with practitioners and seekers. Whether you are a spiritual seeker, healer, or just curious, join soulsearch.io today. It is my deep pleasure and honor to be welcoming Kalina Malnar to our Ascension of the Soul Conference today. Kalina is an incredible international facilitator and way shower of Ascension, as well as a divine feminine leader for our fifth dimensional crystalline new earth. She leads all souls home to their sacred hearts for healing and finding their authentic selves. Kalina has been awake since she was a child and has had the privilege of seeing and hearing her guides. And many times this has saved her life and the lives of her family. And she has been gifted with deeper awakenings and activations at the cellular level from her galactic star family of light, angelics, and masters um, to support her in you know, what she's here to do in support of all of humanity. And she is an incredible um, light language facilitator, grid worker, and just incredible, magical way shower for all of us. So we're just so excited to have you here with us, Kalina, today to be speaking about living multidimensionally. Thank you. Thank you for having me back. I'm so excited to be here. Um, hello, everyone. And I want to say um, it's such a good um, uh, event. It's going to be a beautiful event that Nicole and Krista are putting on. I was supposed to be in it, but I knew that something was going to come for me that I wouldn't be able to participate. Um, I am leaving for grid work. They do this to me every fall, um, but it is for humanity and Gaia. So that's first and foremost important. So those of you that get the chance to actually go, it's going to be really good. So I'm plugging that because I know these women. <laughs> so um, it's going to be beautiful. So thank you. Um, so yeah, multi living multidimensionally. This is I, I didn't prepare any kind of slides or anything. I just don't even know how to do that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to present from, you know, all that I am. And one of the things I do want to talk about is I want to express, which is so um, important for everyone to understand is there's so many people out there that have this fear of actually even thinking that they're multidimensional. And we, <laughs> we are not just these human beings. We are these multi multidimensional beings on the earth. And a lot of us came back here to actually do specific um, things, jobs, missions, whatever you wish to call them for Gaia to assist um, in the process of the ascension uh, for Gaia, but also for humanity's consciousness, you know, and our, um, our job truly is to lift our vibration and our frequency into our light body, um, so that uh, as these highly um, vibrational um, frequency beings, we leave, that's how we actually leave um, what people call the karmic cycle, the karmic wheel, or whatever holds you into inside, uh, into the planet. And that's why it is so important to actually do your inner work and heal yourself and hold yourself into that high space in place um, in this reality, especially now. Uh, and the, one of the ways that we actually can do that is by allowing our multidimensional self 
to actually be seen and heard. Um, and I'm going to give you examples and I'm actually going to do some activations today for everyone because there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of people that when they get, they receive the activations, it takes them a little further in their process. Um, so one of the things that, uh, one of the embodiments, we go through these embodiments of ourself. I call them embodiments because I started that when I was 13, embodying these different aspects of myself. And one of them is a high priestess. And I have traveled all over the globe doing this work and it's called alchemy work. Um, and our, some people call it magic, but it's alchemy and allowing God, the divine to work through me as this fully open conduit on this being of light to bring these um, higher frequencies in the grid. One of the things that I have been asked to do is to raise the harmonic vibration through these activation, these DNA codes. So I work with your DNA and I work with the DNA on the earth <laughs> and through the process, we become these multidimensional beings that we are. So through your embodiments, as you're going through your process, as you're releasing the dense being of human that you think that you only are, as you're releasing this stuff, you are actually allowing yourself to make that space and place for you to become all that you are, allowing the embodiments to happen um, of these other lifetimes that you have been and are on these other dimensional planes because we're, we're living so many lives at once. So that was like my first embodiment is, was as that high priestess was very connected to Venus. And I was only 13 when that came in. And, um, and that's very much connected to uh, the divine feminine and the, and the light part of Venus, because there's, there's two sides of Venus. People have to understand that Venus, you know, Venus just had this massive return to the earth too. I'm not going to get into that. I talked about that for years in my videos, but this, the light part of Venus is the self-love. It's the, um, it's uh, compassion. It's seeing your brothers and sisters for who they truly are, seeing the light in people, allowing um, everyone to be uh, in states, in places, um, in their process without any judgment. And it, Venus really brings in that. I mean, and I know in astrology, Venus represents other things like um, finance and all that stuff, but this is actually the embodiment of that divine feminine piece of the goddess. So it's so, it's so beautiful. Um, it's, it's, it's such a beautiful um, embodiment and an energy to return to the physical, whether you're a man or a woman. So don't think because you're a man that that's not going to happen to you because you are both energies, okay? And if you've walked that path in another life, you have the ability to, to bring that back. So um, in my embodiments, you know, with all the different um, selves that I am as the one in the wholeness, I have uh, the ancients on the future, the galactics, you know, the future self is working as me of me, the ancient that I've been um, an elder, um, it, the uh, shaman, they call me a shamaness, I'm a cosmic shaman, because they bring that in from above, the angelic, um, we all have that angelic piece. You just have to allow it to uh, come back within you to embody that again, to activate that. That's one of the things I do is I activate people's angelic. Um, they start feeling the wings on their back come and then they, it freaks them out a little bit at first, but <laughs> then they get used to it. Um, it's all frequency. It's all vibration. Um, the other parts are the fairy. I have very much have this uh, energy of the fairies and they work through me, but I also have, you know, uh, lifetimes, you know, as that kind of in those dimensions, also the elven. Um, so there's so many different parts of us that are all coming together now so that we can be the best expression of ourself in this life in our highest light, our highest benevolence and um, do what we came here to do in the highest frequency to help Gaia 
you know, to hold that higher vibration for Gaia as she's going through this, but also to hold that space for humanity as the collective consciousness is changing through everyone. Because there's a lot of us that have been awake our whole lives, you know, and we've been doing this for a long time and we've been preparing for now. And this is so important. So those of us that have made those preparations, we've gone through all of this stuff and we're holding that space for the others to be able to get there so that they can platform themselves. It's so important. So living multidimensionally, for an example, I'll get up in the morning and um, I, I'm trying to come back into my physical body. And that's because, you know, we leave, spirit leaves at night, goes somewhere else to work <laughs> and coming back in our soul self, our spirit self is so big, so massive. When we're trying to come back into this human physical vessel, it's so hard to fit inside and squish back in. Like, and it's <laughs> in the morning, sometimes I'm like, I'm like, oh, I can't get back in. I'm trying to get in. And sometimes it'll take me two hours to bring myself back into this body that feels so confined. And that's why a lot of the new souls on the planet, like um, you know, we've got some of the 20s, some things and the teens and stuff now, and they're very uncomfortable in these physical bodies. It's because they feel so cramped in these bodies. Um, you know, and a lot of them are newer souls. They haven't done all those other things or lived those other lives that we have. So it's hard for them to, to, um, to really condense their energy in there. Uh, so that's one of the things in the morning, when I get up in the morning, I'm coming back and I'm coming back from a different space, place, reality, where I've been doing work at night, coming back into this body. And sometimes I wake up as the fairy. I'm like, oh, and I speak in the fairy language and I'm like popping around the house and, you know, and I'm talking to the other fairies and I have videos of the fairies. I just actually videoed them the other night. Um, and they're so beautiful. Um, but also sometimes I'll come in as the galactic being, and um, remembering being on the ship the night before and the technology that's right here right now, I, it's really not been so easy for me to understand and use because on the ship, it's so easy. We wave our hand to, to bring something forward. And with our thoughts, we can, if we say Gaia, boom, there's a picture of Gaia. If we say Venus, boom, there's Venus. If we, if we want to tune into a specific location, boom, it comes up. It's such advanced technology there, then I, you come back here and it's like, so you have to continually be integrating. So as this multidimensional being, um, and I'm giving you my example because this is how I've lived for, for years and years and years, there's this, this shift of integration back and forth um, throughout the day and when you're coming in at night. And and it took, it took me a while to really understand what was going on with me. And that's why when I work with people, I love to explain, okay, well, this is this part of you that you just need to understand. This is, this is part of you, but becoming the whole, okay? You are always whole, but it's a part of you that's coming back in to be able to allow yourself to structure yourself in this piece, in this wholeness, in this, this entirety that we are in this highest vibration and frequency in this light. And, um, and without judgment, that's really big because a lot of people judge some of the things they're feeling going through parts that they know. Or there's a lot of people that I work with that are, they, they're very much part of the dragon energy. And they're like, if I tell someone I'm a dragon, they're gonna think I'm crazy or that dragons are bad. It's all from the stories. We have to release the stories of everything. Um, to allow everything and the truth of everything and all that we are, because there is nothing bad unless you create it to be bad. Um, there's the elven self. I have my, there's pictures um, of me as an elf. So, um, and for those that know me, I don't know how many will know me on here, but there are so many pictures of me out on the internet where I actually, I morph into my characters. One of them is Isis and I was live. I was on a live show. I totally morphed into Isis. I got black bangs, my hair chopped off right there. Um, and one of my eyes turned blue and it was just my Isis self. Another one, I became Gaia or like the plant kingdom, my, I turned all green. My hands were green, my legs were green, my face was green, and this energy was just flowing out of me. Um, these are, I was showing in these pictures, I show these other parts of my multidimensional self. Um, just recently when I was doing work in 
where was I, Santa Fe, and that was just um, in September. Um, my Hathor, Hathor is one of my embodiments. My Hathor ear showed to everybody. Shakina had taken, my friend Shakina took a picture of me. And um, you could see the ear, it looked like there was three ears. And I, for the longest time, I'm like, what is that? Why does it look, why does it look like that? And this light was just coming off of me this beautiful bright light and it's on my Instagram. People can look at there. But the ear after about a week, I finally got the message that that's your Hathor ears. So when I was young and I remember being in kindergarten or first grade, they did these tests um, for your hearing. Okay. And they were these big globe things. I don't know what they were. And you had to put your head in and they would test your audibility. And mine was actually off the charts. I remember the lady looking at me and her eyes got really big. She goes, you can hear what humans aren't supposed to hear. And I have never forgotten that because I really, it impacted me at that time, but I really didn't know what she meant until now, because one of the things that I do is I hear all of these things for the light language work that I do. And because my, my team actually says I'm a master of light language, because I can activate any frequency and any, any one of the languages and then channel them as well. So it's, it's really interesting that being told something that impacts you when you're like six years old that you remember later in life, it's like, ah, oh, there we go, piece to the puzzle. So I was learning about my multidimensional self all the way back then, but not realizing it until later in life. So living multidimensionally is, is actually beautiful. We can like, like in my sessions, I can bring in the high priestess part if I want to do that kind of healing. I can bring in my galactic self if, if that's what that client's going to need. I can bring in that angelic piece. I can bring in the elven, the fairy, whatever. It's all that I am. And I have to tell you, it's actually fun. <laughs> um, it makes life so much richer. And, you know, really, um, when you look at it and you look at, you know, why are these things happening? Why are we waking up? Why do I go through this? Why do I go through that? Because when the end result, result is something like this, it's so beautiful to understand, feel, see, and know our, our true divine selves and all that we are and all that God has given us to be. Living from here is where we live multidimensionally. Sacred heart, that's my work. Bring people out of that false identity. Go bring them back home here. Expand your true self. Know the natural you. Live from here. And allow yourself to be all that you are. Know thyself. Love thyself. Be thyself. It's so, it's so, so important. There's nothing to hide. There is nothing to be ashamed of. There's nothing to fear. Okay. <laughs> I'm like super high. This is what happens to me. That's another thing when you're living multidimensionally. You're like, I walk around high all the time and I, it, and it's, uh, well, plus I'm a Pisces rising. So <laughs> That doesn't help. And I'm like, I have to try and ground all the time. But the, um, the, the, the beautiful part of all of this is to truly know thyself as this, this fractal of God, this source of being walking on this planet, having this experience. And we create our experience so we also can allow all these parts and pieces of our self to come in when we trust in the divine. And we also step into the knowing that we came here to assist to shift this planet. We came here to assist to shift the consciousness. We came here to be all that we are in the highest vibration and frequency in the light creating a balance in the distortion. 
allowing our true selves to be seen and heard with no fear and no judgment anymore. Our truth is our own. When we align divinely with a sacred mind, sacred heart, activating our divine Christ consciousness, the feminine Christ and the masculine Christ. Satura. Um, yep, I've got a download coming in, so I'm going to be doing some activations here right now. Um, please just, if you wish to have them, there's going to be some healing they're saying. Um, we're going to do some purification activations. And um, I'm, mm, yep, got some elemental things coming in as well because the fairies are flying in. My hands are really starting to, um, uh, oof, they're really going right now. So if everyone wants to receive them, all you have to do is say, I accept this healing from Kilina, accept these activations. Have your hands, palms facing up on your lap. Be open and ready to receive. And also, please, what I would like you to do is say, I now align and drop into my divine sacred heart. And you, you should feel your heart chakra opening. Ta'era ur namaaki. There'll be sounds and tones and vibrations. Then what they do is they shift your frequency. They can align you. Um, some of you are off balance. I'm seeing. I can see. I, I give. The, they give me the visions of people that are listening that will be listening, so I know what to bring in. Some of you are. Um, I'm getting uh, energy. So some of you are like weighted on one side and not the other. Uh, okay. Yes. Thank you. All right. We're gonna bring these in. Okay, allow that to open. That went to the solar plexus for some of you to open up that to allow yourself to let go of the control. There we go, a little deeper. Okay, I'm really working on some of you with the solar plexus. What I'm feeling is some of you are really, you want to um, control the outcome of things. So when we want to do this, we're not allowing ourselves to live from our divine will, which is God's will. So um, they're really, when I do the whew, really loud, that's like God sending through this, this like um, light uh, that just goes right to the solar plexus to like open it up more. <laughs> That's the fairies. <laughs> the fairies will bring in joy <laughs> because that's what they know. They elevate the joy within you. <laughs> um, they help with the, the light. <laughs> uh, they're so beautiful. Um, on, 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 on. So, Kotora Ma. Okay, yeah, un un order.
okay, just <laughs> pulled um, some stuff out of all of you out of your um, energy system. It just went right up. Amoria, Amoria, Aya. My um, team has said we we're complete. <laughs> I have a big team that I work with. <laughs> so, woo. Okay. <laughs> All right, I hope everybody's feeling that. If you need to, if you feel like you're too high or if you flew off a little bit, just focus on your lower back, focus on the lower back and just say, I am grounded. And you're going to feel your energy flowing down and you're going to feel that the grounding's going to start from the root and it'll go down your um your legs to your earth star chakra there amor aqui okay. <laughs> all right and that's that's about it <laughs> that's about it that's what i'm doing today Thank you, Lina. <laughs> oh my goodness that was amazing Oh, good, good. Amazing. I felt the fairy. I'm like, that's the fairies. The fairies yeah. coming in for me too. Yeah, they're super high, super high frequency. I love them. So, and I heard earlier, I don't know if Joan had said that she was going to Egypt next year or something. So am I. I'm, I'm pulling together women high to, with the priestess work. So that's amazing. Wow. There's only a lot of us going. Yeah, I'm getting it together. I have a guide already and I'm working on all the details. So <laughs> I'm going to be taking women there next year. It's part of my work. Exciting. Beautiful. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Kalina. That was amazing and beautiful. And, you know, we have the comments coming in from, you know, I felt the angels and I so appreciate this gift. Beautiful, amazing really people appreciating you and the gifts that you're sharing with us today, really helping us to supporting us in raising our vibration and reaching those higher and higher frequencies together. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you. Thank I you. Love you. I love everyone. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much for tuning into this podcast. This is Neil, founder of Portal to Ascension, and just closing out this podcast here and letting you know that what you're experiencing are all types of presentations that we have on Portal to Ascension, uh, such a wide variety, different audio clips from um, conferences that we do, and then other interviews that we have also on our YouTube. And I want to take this moment here at the end and just talk to you about a few upcoming things with Portal to Ascension. We're really excited because 2023 we're really blasting off and we have um, a few conferences. We have Portal to Ascension San Diego, April 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. We have Portal to Ascension Glastonbury in the UK. Hope to see some of you there. That's August 11th, 12th, and 13th of next year. 
and then or 2023 if you're listening to it now and then we're also taking a tour of people to egypt guys and we're going to go for from september 7th we're going to have the hertex with us jj and desiree hertex like you might have experienced on our channel uh, joan of angels is going to be with us and also alan steinfeld and actually i have joan of angels here with me right now so i'm going to just hand it over to her and get your input joan on what we're going to be experiencing your excitement and all of that so this is a critical time in our history on the planet and 2023 is this reawakening of our, it's, it's just our reawakening of our spirituality and our transformation along this ascension timeline. So these events are designed to really awaken you, to really bring you to remember who you are, why you're here, your galactic origins, the power, the personal power we have within us to shift into the planet that we really want mm -hmm. at the most optimum of potential to align our body, mind, and spirit to get there. So these, just to be together in person activates forgotten memories, activates light codes, activates DNA, and most of all, activates your happiness cells. Because mm. the joy in coming together is just extraordinary. So we invite you to come and be with us in any of these events around the world. And even online, we try to create that same energetics. Mm. So we love you all that we are creating a mystery school that goes around the planet right. and off planet. Exactly, yes. And just a few websites for you. So firstly, of course, the main website, portal we'll have everything there. You can sign up and get 1,000 plus, well, it's over 3,000 at this point, hours of free conscious content, you know, like a streaming platform where you can browse and all that. And then ascensionconference.com for portal to Ascension San Diego, ascensionglassenbury.com for the Glastonbury Conference. And then the Egypt tour is going to be on portal to Ascension or is on portal to Ascension.org as well. Um, yeah, so some beautiful, amazing experiences. We're really blasting off. It's time to get exponential. You know, we've been exponential, but now the exponential curve is even going even higher because it's really time for us to remember who we are, tap in our true potential, and make some change on Earth that's better for, creates betterment for everybody, right? And that's why we're doing what we do. That's why this podcast exists. So excited to see you guys there. AscensionConference.com and Portal to Ascension. Joan, any few any closing words? Ascension Glastonbury. Yeah, we're all taking off together. This is this is the times for which we've been called, loves. Can't wait to see you there. Love you all.